Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. Welcome back to Smitty Reacts. And I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely, definitely excited to check out this next song. Now, before we get into it, first and foremost, I I've been a Metallica fan. I, I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, back when I was growing up, I, I had a lot of metal heads around me um, in the time, you know, and... and you know, not to age myself too much, but yeah, I've, I've been listening to Metallica for a long time. <laughs> uh, but that being said, uh, shout out to Adam, shout out to uh, uh, Nate, uh, all the all the kids I grew up with, man. Well, men now, but whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but that being said, uh, I, I definitely wanted to check out this new Metallica song. It's called "If Darkness Had a Son." So just off the title, I don't know what to expect, but. I kind of have an idea of what what Metallica can bring. Um, also, shout out to Chris Seavey, my boy Chris. Um, we went to our first Metallica show together, at least my first Metallica show anyway. Um, and my boy Andrew that went with us as well. So that was a couple of years ago. But, you know, definitely had a great time and had a great uh, experience going to my first Metallica concert um, a few years ago. So at any rate, man, I want to jump into this video. But before I do, of course, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps my little channel grow over here, man. I definitely appreciate um, thumbs ups, thumbs downs even. Let me know, you know. Um, also, this is my new California setup. Uh, temporary setup for the next few months or so. But, you know, I'm definitely playing with the audio levels and stuff like that. Video, like, positioning, all that good stuff. So, if you guys have any feedback, things like that, I'm definitely um, looking forward to that as well. Along with the reaction videos uh, on top of that. I just want to make sure I'm giving you guys a quality experience um, from what I've got here. <laughs> so... All right, man, before we hit start, one more thing, one more quick thing. If you have suggestions for songs, please put them down in the comment section below. If you can find a link to the version that you would like to hear or want to see play, put that down there as well. Um, I, make sure at least I'm getting to the version that you guys should uh, are looking for. And the reason I say that is because like, I'm seeing songs where there's multiple takes, multiple versions different covers, you know, some are orchestral versions where some are like album versions, all that good stuff. So there's a lot of variety, even in similar songs. So if you have a specific song or a specific version you want me to check out, please leave a link down in the comments below. That way I can make sure I check out that version. So, all right, let me get off my soapbox. Let's jump into the song. Ready for some Metallica, man. Let's see what they up to. Let's get it. Got some cool. Okay. pause right here before we get too much further into it first and foremost i like intros to songs point blank period i like intros to songs some people you know like are say oh it's old-fashioned oh it's play all those you know excuses they want to give people i like having a good lead-in that builds up 
you know, anticipation and it kind of swells a little bit before you jump into the song. I like that. Sorry. <laughs> you know, granted, maybe not every song, but it's like when the song does it, I'm here for it. Secondly, like, yo, the, the, the energy they building up on here, like the, the pacing, really cool on this song. It, it definitely gives me like some throwback Metallica vibes, you know, um, almost like uh, Cyanide Suicide. Is that the name of the song? Anyway, but kind of give me that energy and stuff like that. And also like the fact that James still sounds good right here. You know what I'm saying? He, he He's really coming in strong with the intro vocals. So, all right, sorry. We only have like a minute and some change in and I, <laughs> I'm already talking too much. Let me just rewind a bit and we'll, we'll get back up in there. Let's go. Better than that? Okay. Heavy. Lyrics are heavy. He said, "He oh my gosh!" He said, "If darkness son had son, if, if darkness had a son, here I am. Uh, temptation is his father. Come on now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Break that down real quick. If darkness had a son, that's me." You know what I'm saying? And, and the and temptation is how I got here because that's the father, you know what I'm saying, of darkness. Temptation can lead you down that path. Oh my gosh. Let's go. said temptation leave me be leave me alone temptation like you can tell like james has been through it we know his his background his story i think he just recently got out of rehab again like he's been in and out of rehab for the better part of his life at this point you know um not only that but you know emotional struggles emotional issues stuff like that that he's gone through in his life and not just him obviously other members of the band as well you know like I, if you've watched the documentary about them you know that they did a few like years ago but, yo, like, the fact that he's able to, like, still, like, wrap his head around that feeling and, and write it down, you know, put pen to pad and, and communicate that feeling and be able to put it into the song form is still crazy. Like, James is still probably one of the best, like, lyric writers out there. He really is, in my humble opinion. But anyway, let me go back. I'm going to stop trying to pause so much because, you know, Metallica got me sparking right now. Let's go. <laughs> Trying to clear himself. Temptation, leave me be. Yep. Mm. 
Okay. I like that switch up right there. About to go back up. No. Pause right there. I had to wait for the solo to be over. <laughs> Let me run that back, though. Like, yo, Kirk still on it, man. Kirk and James, you know what I'm saying? Still on the, on the, you know what I'm saying? On the, uh, how I want to say it? On the, on the BS. <laughs> See you again, man. That breakdown. I think it's smart to kind of like modulate a little bit or switch it up. Hey, get that. And he starts riffing off right there. Like, yo, that riff is nice. And James with that 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 lead guitar man or that rhythm guitar, sorry, he, he's on that rhythm heavy like da -da 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 da 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 That way Kirk can just go and do his little solo thing, man. I like that. Pause right there. Robert's on that bass. Tough, man. Come on, man. Yo, that song is tough. <laughs> that song is tough, man. 
uh, definitely, you know, like I said earlier, like it, it's an examination of temptation and how it can lead to darkness. You know, talking about if darkness had a son, it's me. You know what I'm saying? Like just the fact that he's just like, yo, like I understand how I'm getting to my dark spots, my dark places, you know, it's, it's led on by temptation. But at the same time, it's literally, you know, basically self self driven, if that makes sense. Like, uh, you know, it's basically long story short. It's like something you do to yourself. Not, not saying you don't have outside influences and so forth. But at the same time, it's like. You have to realize you have to take accountability in yourself, <laughs> you know, when it's all said and done. You know, if, if you see a gallon of ice cream and ice cream sitting in front of you, you don't have to eat the whole gallon of ice cream. You might want to. You don't have to. But if you do, who's going to blame you? Like, do you blame yourself or do you blame the ice cream man that made the ice cream? I don't know. <laughs> but that's where the temptation comes in. It's the fact that you're tempted to even get to the ice cream and eat that whole gallon up. You know, and then like at the end of the day, you're like, dang, my stomach hurts. You are feeling the effects, you know. So that's why he's been literally saying like temptation. Leave me alone. Let me be, you know, like leave me alone. You know, there's almost like the lyrics is almost like uh, like in a way, like kind of a riff on sanitarium, you know, leave me be da 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 sanitarium. Just leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Like he's wanting to be left alone, want to be isolated because like when he gets out, he's tempted. It, it, it could trigger the darkness that he's feeling. So anyway, like maybe that's just my head being weird. <laughs> but at the same time, man, I definitely appreciate the song from Metallica, man. Some new stuff coming out. Um, let me know what's going on with Metallica. Like, uh, is this a new project that's coming out? Like I, I saw something on YouTube uh, that suggested this song and I saw something on Facebook that suggested this. Um, maybe do they have new songs more than this? I think they do. But anyway, let me know. Let me know. So. Long story short, man, I, I definitely appreciated this song by Metallica, man. Let me go back a little bit. trying to bathe in holy water man he's trying to get it off of him James still hitting them notes man Anyway, yo, definitely appreciated that one. So, hey, my name is Marvin. This is Smitty Reacts. I'm going to get out of this video, man. Uh, again, like I said earlier, if you have any suggestions, songs, all that good stuff, drop them down in the comment section below. If you put a link in there if you can. If you can't think, if you can't find it or whatever, like, don't let that stop you from putting the suggested in by any means. But at the same time, I definitely appreciate them. So, all right, y'all, until the next video, please take care of yourself. <laughs> you know, be kind to one another. And of course, if you guys can do that, I will definitely catch you in that next video. All right? All right. Peace.